Dear friends, it is said that the true function of a preacher is to comfort the disturbed and to disturb the comfortable. In today's reflection based on chapter 7 of the book of Joshua, we will see the sinfulness of the secret sin committed by Akan, which sparked the anger of the Lord against the Israelites. Sin is an accursed thing which causes hindrance and reproach to any people viewed either as a nation or as individuals. The characteristics of sin seen in Akan are that firstly he thought that his sin was secret. Sin is committed under a false and pernicious impression that it will never be known to anyone but we forget that there can be no secrets to the omniscient God. Secondly, there is a gradual advancement in the sin of Akan. Captivation of the senses by seeing, allurement of the desires by coveting, and enslavement of the soul by taking. What happens is that sin becomes the herald of curse because the word of God reminds us that the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. Like any other cause, sin causes certain physical, spiritual and moral effects which are not under man's control. The great leader Joshua, a hero, became a coward. The Israelites, victors, became victims. They fled from the enemy out of fear of death. All this is because sin is wickedness as well as weakness and it deters our progress and success. In this Lenten season, let us engage ourselves in a thorough and active search for any such secret sin in our lives, which might be the cause for the disgrace and sorrow in our families. No sooner you realize the hidden sin, purge yourself through the sacrament of confession, which would surely enable the sanctification of the whole family. God bless us all. Amen.